salutations friends welcome back to my channel today's video I'm going to share with you 10 summer fragrance picks that I think are great and the little spin I wanted to do on this list was to bring you really affordable to really luxury high-end so that way if you're on a budget or if you're looking to splurge that this list will have a little bit of something for everybody these are all chosen from my collection I have an intimate knowledge of all these scents and if you didn't know I live in the tropics so it's hot and sweaty and humid and gross where I live so I have tested these and can honestly say that these work beautifully in a variety of different environments including extreme heat and humidity which most of the time is what summers are known for so if you'd like to know my picks then keep watching. transparency purposes um, all of these fragrances are from my personal collection one was given to me or a few were given to me as gifts from my mother most of these were for purchase for myself and one was given me given to me to review that I have not yet reviewed on my channel but I will be however these are all ones that I wear and I stand behind but I did want you guys to know about that and as I list the fragrances I'll let you know the ones that were given to me as gifts and were also sent to me so let's start off with the most affordable one on this list and one that I just really love and it's a little bit of a novelty and it was a gift from my mom and I wore this at her house and she bought me a little bottle of it and it's from Flora Linda Perfumes and it's Orange Blossom. Now this is just like a little orange blossom fragrance and it's really affordable. I think this is like three to four dollars. But what I like about this specific, this specific fragrance is it actually smells really nice. It smells like an actual orange blossom. It smells like the orange, it's not an orchard, but the groves, there we go, the orange groves. And we used to drive through them to go to Orlando. Um, it's a smell I'm very familiar with and it's a smell that's very nostalgic for me. And if you live in Florida, you know what orange blossom smells like. And this just smells just so wonderful. It smells like when we would stop by um, a little area to pick up some oranges, you know, like there's this little like Yeehaw Junction thing here, you could get a lot of orange, um, like souvenir gifts. It had a specific smell and it always smelled very sweet and floral. And this just smells like that. It's really, really nice. What I also like about this scent is it smells so good it's a little bit green it's a little bit it's got a little bit of the green bitterness like a petit grain in there but I also like how affordable it is and how long it lasts on the skin other fragrances like this don't really last that long on the skin or they start to smell at least on my skin a little bit off a little bit rancid after it's been on my skin for a few hours this one just smells nice the entire lifespan of the scent and it lasts on my skin for about six to eight hours which is pretty impressive considering the weather so if you guys are looking for a really nice orange blossom fragrance, I cannot recommend this one enough. It's really nice. And again, it's like three to four Next bucks. This is a fragrance that was another gift from my mother. And I never thought I would ever own a fragrance from this person or even like or tolerate. But this is actually a fantastic fragrance for the summer. And it's from Paris Hilton and it is a South Beach. Now this scent is pretty standard for a celebrity scent. I mean, it's really pretty, it's youthful, it's very um, sparkly and sweet. There's definitely a distinctive kind of like berry note in this, but what I like about this scent is this is a great scent to wear if you're going out and you know you're going to perspire, or you're gonna be in an area where it's just gonna be really hot and overpowering and you don't want to wear something expensive and stifling. You just wanna wear something really easy that smells really nice and does a good job. And I really can't give this little guy enough praise. It actually does really well. So smell-wise, this isn't my favorite fragrance in the list, but when it comes to performance in the summer, I think this is an absolute winner. And a lot of people really like Paris Hilton fragrances. If you like the ultra-feminine, really sweet, sparkly, youthful scents, and you're looking for something to wear for summer that is really affordable, I really think this is a great, great fragrance. Now, another one on this list that full price maybe is a little bit more money, but you can easily find this from a discount site or like TJ Maxx or something for a bargain is from Machino. This is a new fragrance to my collection, but I have worn it before and it's I Love Love. Now this is taking the place of Dolce & Gabbana light blue in this list. I feel like I talk about that fragrance too much and I kind of wanted to you know, give you guys some fresh options. 
This to me smells so similar to it, only it is a little bit more sharp and a little bit more um, heavy on the grapefruit, which I think works beautifully in summer. Sometimes in spring, having more fruity, juicy citruses are really, really nice because they pair really beautifully with florals. But in the summertime, sometimes you have to go with something that's really aggressive that'll get the job done, that'll last, that'll smell really refreshing and nice on the skin, and just, you know, it's a great scent to wear for that environment in that situation. And this one is great. I've worn this a bunch and I finally got a big bottle of it because I'm going to be wearing a lot this a lot in summer. I don't know, there's just something about that that's really nice and easy to wear. And when it comes to summer fragrances, a lot of times people go for utility over artistry. So they're like, if I'm going to be sweating, I don't want to wear a heavy oud. I want to wear something that's going to be really nice and refreshing. So this has a nice mix of beauty and utility. And I think it's a bargain too. Again, you can find this really inexpensively from a variety of different sources. So yeah, this is another this one. one that I purchased that, you know, full price is a little bit on the expensive side, not crazy expensive, but you can find it really inexpensively from a variety of different places. And it's from Guerlain and it's the Aqua Allegoria Pampaloon. Now, this fragrance doesn't have the best longevity and I almost didn't have it on this list because of that. But with this lax in longevity, it makes up for it with absolute beauty when it comes down to hot weather. I like the fact that this is a fragrance I can bathe in and reapply and it doesn't really alter the way that it smells. It's a very linear scent. So if you want to reapply, you can. You won't have to go through awkward stages of opening and dry down and things like that. It pretty much smells the same. Some people do have a little bit of an issue when it comes to how this smells directly on their skin. So if you're one of those people where it comes off a little bit too aggressive that way, I recommend spraying in the air and walking through it. It generally does a really good job at lightening the scent a little bit, making it more pleasant. But this scent is something that I reach for all the time, specifically in really hot and humid weather. It just smells really nice, it's really beautiful, and it's just a pleasure and a joy to wear. And again, you can find this really inexpensively from a variety of different websites, so it's definitely one I would recommend checking out. This for me would be complete without a fragrance from Elizabeth Arden. And it's so hard to choose between all of the flankers because the majority of them do work in summer. But this one is specifically green tea summer, and I thought that this would be a great one to recommend. This was gift. This was given to me by a fantastic subscriber. You know who you are. Thank you so much. It's just really beautiful. What I like about this is there's a little bit of a playfulness to the scent that you don't see in many of the Elizabeth Arden flankers. Some of them are a little bit more unisex. Some of them are a little bit more refreshing. This one is just a little bit more playful and fun. And I think that when it comes to summer scents, something playful and really appropriate for hot weather is always appreciative. Plus this is really affordable and easy to find, which is why you will see a lot of these fragrances on my lists. And I love it to bits, so yeah. This is a great I wanted to add something for people who are gourmand lovers who like to wear delicious sweet scents but it's a little bit hard to wear those fragrances in the summertime and this one is from Gorilla Perfumes if you didn't know that is Lush um, Lush Cosmetics fragrance line and it is What Would Love Do? Now this fragrance is just really delicious to me, it smells like a biscuit. It smells like a really fresh baked lemon cookie. I really love it. But there's a brightness and a lightness and a slight sweetness to this that I think makes this really joyful to wear in the summertime. This is a perfect all season, all weather fragrance. You can wear this in the winter. You can wear this in the summer. You can wear this in the spring. You can wear this in the fall. So although this is a really affordable and easy to find fragrance, if you live near a Lush store, I think this is a great addition to anybody's collection if you love um, gourmand fragrances because you can wear this in a variety of different places. You can dress this up, you can dress this down. I wouldn't say it's terribly formal, but it is a really easy to wear scent that is beautiful to wear if you have a sweet tooth when it comes down to gourmand fragrances in the summertime, which is why I love this so much. All right, now we're moving into our more expensive fragrances and the next one I'm showing you was sent to me and it was sent to me to review not by the company though, it was sent by um, a business 
who I work with, um, and they send me bottles to review on occasion. So this house didn't send me this bottle to review, but somebody did send me this bottle to review. So this was sent to me, and this is something that I've been meaning to review, but I'm waiting closer to the summertime, but I will make it'll make its debut here. And it's from Gallimard, and it's from the Cologne Absolute line, and it's Lotus Vivart. So this is another green tea fragrance. As you guys know, I'm obsessed with tea fragrances. And this is just a beautiful, fantastic scent to wear in the summer. What I like about this is this has a lightness and a playfulness to it, but it is not sweet and it's not overtly youthful. It actually has a little bit of maturity to it, which I think is really, really nice. Sometimes with green tea scents, they can go way too green tea. Think of fragrances like Bulgari um, Eau de Vart and uh, Elizabeth Arden Green Tea. I love those scents, but sometimes it's nice to have a little bit more of a sophisticated take on tea fragrances rather than just straight tea fragrances. And I think this does the job beautifully. This is way more unisex than other tea fragrances out there, and I think this would smell really attractive on a man or a woman, specifically in the daytime. I also think that this is a fantastic fragrance to just have in your collection if you're looking for something really light and refreshing and easy to wear that is a good grab-and-go scent. You can dress this fragrance up, you can dress this fragrance down, and you can wear it anywhere. The longevity of this one, considering it is a cologne, is pretty good, and actually I think that since it's a linear scent, you can reapply if you're one of those people where it doesn't last on your skin too long. Overall, it has a really nice feeling to it. It's very refreshing and crisp, and the lotus in here is really beautiful. So this is definitely one that I have been reaching for a little bit more than usual because it's been getting really hot where I live. I definitely recommend checking out Gallimard in general. They're a great house that doesn't get a lot of attention and they definitely deserve it. This one is so beautiful. <laughs> so beautiful. And I love this one to bits and it's so good. <laughs> it's from Serge Loutons and it's Fleurs de Oranger. I think I pronounced that right. This scent is just delicious. I like to tell people, if you look at the color of the juice, that is what this smells like. It's so rich and indulgent and floral and gorgeous, but there's a brightness and a little bit of spice to this that makes the scent just so amazing. If you like really complex scents, if you like scents that have a lot of depth and a lot of things going for them, but it's hard to wear those scents in the summer, this is a beautiful, and I mean a beautiful, um, way to get all or to check all those boxes and to wear a scent like that. I love really heavy, thick, complex scents and it's really hard to wear them where I live. So whenever I get the opportunity to wear it when it dips below 85 degrees, I get really excited. But a lot of times I will reach for this scent if I want to wear a nice, thick, rich gourmand because the florals in this are really refreshing and perfect for the heat without compromising any of the richness that this fragrance has. I think Serge Luton's is a fantastic house that has some amazing, I mean amazing legendary fragrances as part of their library and this is one of their fragrances that is my absolute fragrance from the entire line. Next up is one from Tom Ford and one of my all-time favorite fragrances and it is Neroli Portofino. This is the original version not the Forte or the Aqua. I really love Neroli Portofino. It is so perfect for summer. It's ridiculous. This takes me to the coast. Maybe not the, you know, the Italian coastline, but this takes me to like coastal cities and vacations on the beach. And it's just really beautiful. There's a sweetness and a liveliness to the scent, which is really, really beautiful. And it just works so well in hot weather. It also works really nicely in cool weather too. Maybe not cold weather, but cooler weather. But overall, this is one of my favorite scents to wear. I travel with the body spray all the time. In fact, there's two fragrances I take with me when I travel at all times, and that is Molecule All One and Neroli Portofino the body spray because they just work so well when I'm outside and when I'm traveling, I'm usually out hiking or I'm out doing things that require me sweating because it's Florida and it's gross here. And they just work so well. Plus you also smell really sophisticated and attractive, so. I love this. This is a classic and a cult favorite. And I definitely recommend this. Last but not least, and this is obviously on the more expensive side, we've gone through all the really affordable ones and now we have the one that I recommend for summertime if you're looking for something that is luxury and you want to splurge and treat yourself. Although even if you get something affordable, you're still treating yourself. Uh, I think fragrances are a wonderful treat that you can give yourself if you are so inclined and if you enjoy them. 
So this is from the House of Creed, and this is a Virgin Island water. And yes, I bought this. Just letting you guys know that this was purchased. The only one given to me was the Gallimard, and the other ones were gifts from subscribers and my mom. But this was purchased with the intention of summer wear. This is beautiful. Now, there is an issue with this scent, and for me on my skin, it does have to do with longevity. But it's not too bad. I usually hope for four to six hours, I get about four to five. Now, in really humid weather, for other people, you're looking at probably six to eight, or like eight to 10 with the amount of time the fragrances last on my skin. But I'm not gonna tell you eight to 10 because I can only say how long it lasts on my skin. Now that being said, this fragrance was made for heat. The fragrance was made for summertime and trips and vacations. It's so tropical and so refreshing and it's just really gorgeous. This is also a fantastic fragrance to layer with a variety of different fragrances. One of my favorite fragrances to layer with this is actually Aventus. It smells like a pina colada. I really enjoy that scent a lot with Virgin Island water but this is such a refreshing, attractive, delicious scent, but there's just something about it that I find to be really sexy on men and really beautiful on women. And I think anyone can wear this scent. It's really quite impressive. So this is definitely a recommendation on the more expensive luxury side. If you're looking for a really great fragrance to add to your collection or to wear for the summer. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked my picks. If you have tried any of these fragrances and you agree or disagree with me, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to know your thoughts. I'd also like to know what fragrances you guys recommend for the summertime. And um, it just can be anything. It can be affordable, it can be indie, it can be luxury, it doesn't matter. I'd love to know what you guys think. I always like to let you guys know that these are my personal opinions based on fragrances from my collection. I am myself a horrible blind buyer, but I don't recommend blind buying anything. Maybe if you were gonna blind buy anything, I mean, this is like $3, but I always recommend you to go out and sample for yourself. Just because I think something smells good doesn't mean you and your nose will think so. And that's the most important thing when it comes down to fragrances is what you and your nose think. So definitely if you have the opportunity to sample these before you purchase, I definitely recommend that. But I do hope you like these pictures and I'd love to know what you guys recommend as well. As always guys, if you like these videos, remember to give this a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. If you do not like these types of videos, there's a thumbs down button. I do not at all get upset when there are down votes. It lets me know what type of content you guys like to see. So if you do not like these types of videos, you can let me know by hitting the down vote. Totally all right. As always guys as well, don't forget to subscribe. It really means a lot to me. I love seeing this channel grow. And also don't forget to hit the little bell. For the next few weeks, my schedule has changed from every other day from, or it used to be Monday through Fridays. Now it's Monday, Wednesday, Fridays with an occasional video thrown in between there if I have time. So that way you will get notified when I have my content up if you are so inclined to watch my Thank you guys so much and I hope you are all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever, and a fantastic summer. And I'll see you next time. Bye.